Okay, um, I'm Jared here. I'm going to share with you the entire chapter on electrolysis. And we have uh, simply broken down right, the entire chapter into 13 different concepts. And if you master these 13 different concepts, right, okay, I can safely say that you have managed to master the entire topic on electrolysis and simple cell. Okay, <clears throat> come, let's move on and start off with the first concept. Okay, concept number one. Okay, in concept number one, right, how does the electrolysis work? First, right, you must be good at identifying. When you see a battery, right, negative and positive, right, okay, you can identify that, hey, this is an electrolysis question. Okay, so once you see it's a battery, right, okay, you know it's an electrolysis question, right, the next thing you take note of, right, is the sign, negative and positive. The shorter one represents negative, the longer one represents positive. Okay, why is this important? Because, right, once you have the negative one, right, this side connected to the negative battery, right, I call this the negative electrode. Okay, then this, right, will also be known as the positive electrode. Okay, and in your syllabus, right, electrodes, right, okay, you have two kinds. One is the inert and one is the reactive. Inert simply means not reactive. Lah. Okay, so over here, inert, right, there are three in your syllabus that I want you to remember. One is carbon, second one, graphite, last one, platinum. These are considered inert in your syllabus. Okay, so right, from here, cathode reduction occurs here. At anode, oxidation occurs here. Okay, reduction, oxidation. So, in the topic of redox, you know that reduction, right, is gaining of electrons. Okay, whereas in oxidation, right, is loss of electrons. Okay, then the next thing you have to understand, right, is electrolyte. Okay, the electrolyte that you have, right, <coughs> okay, has to be molten, aqueous, or concentrated. Okay, it is for it is for the ions to actually flow in the entire circuit, which I'll explain to you in concept two. Then after that, right, it cannot be in solid state. Because if it's in solid state, right, okay, if the electrolyte is in solid state, right, so what happened? There will be no mobile okay, charge carriers to complete the whole circuit. Okay, this is how electrolysis works. Okay, 